First, we will hold a second meaningful vote by Tuesday, the 12th of March, at the latest. Second, if the Government has not won a meaningful vote by Tuesday, the 12th of March, then it will, in addition to its obligations, to table a neutral, amendable motion under Section 13 of the EU Withdrawal Act, table a motion to be voted on by Wednesday, the 13th of March, at the latest, asking this House if it supports leaving the EU without a withdrawal agreement and a framework for a future relationship on the 29th of March. So the United Kingdom will only leave without a deal on the 29th of March if there is explicit consent in the House for that outcome. Third, third, if the House, having rejected leaving with the deal negotiated with the EU, then rejects leaving on the 29th of March without a withdrawal agreement and future framework, the Government will, on the 14th of March, bring forward a motion on whether Parliament wants to seek a short, limited extension to Article 50, and if the House votes for an extension, seek to agree that extension approved by the House with the EU and bring forward the necessary legislation to change the exit date commensurate with that extension. These commitments all fit the timescale set out in the Private Members' Bill in the name of the Right Honourable Member for Normanton, Pontefract and Castleford. They are commitments I am making as Prime Minister, and I will stick by them as I have previous commitments. As I, have, as I have previous commitments to make statements and table amendable motions by specific dates. But let me be clear, I do not want to see Article 50 extended. Our absolute focus should be on working to get a deal and leaving on the 29th of March. An extension beyond the end of June would mean the UK taking part in the European Parliament elections. What kind of message would that send to the more than 17 million people who voted to leave the EU nearly three years ago now? And the House, the House should be clear that a short extension, not beyond the end of June, would almost certainly have to be a one-off. If we had not taken part in the European Parliament elections, it would be extremely difficult to extend again. So it would create a much sharper cliff edge in a few months' time. An extension cannot take no deal off the table. The only way to do that is to revoke Article 50, which I, which I shall not do, or agree a deal. Now, I have been clear throughout the process that my aim is to bring the country back together. This House, this House can only do that by implementing the decision of the British people, and the Government is determined to do so in a way that commands the support of this House. But just as Government requires the support of this House in delivering the vote of the British people, so the House should respect the proper functions of the Government.